I'm Kiel Wilner. I'm director of sales at Newell Gallery in New York. Newell is the largest antique dealer in the United States. Today I'm going to show you three vignettes with three different ways to approach a big white wall when selecting the perfect piece of art for your space. Starting with a white wall or a blank space can be rather intimidating. Once you find that anchor piece, whether it be a painting, a sculpture, or a unique architectural element, your entire project is built off from there. In this vignette, I selected a triptych by Jack Roth. The black and white is not only masculine, but also rather severe in a very good way. The Andre Arbus sideboard has black detailing on the face as well as the base of it that tie in with the art, and then bringing in dark leather side chairs carries through that nice masculine vibe. In this vignette, I selected a beautiful wall sculpture by Silas Chandel. The wall sculpture is rather bold and dynamic, keeping the rest of the vignette rather neutral, the brass complementing the gray, a little restrained, the colorations and textures really all make the major focus on the art piece. In this setup, the painting by Art Brenner is absolutely fantastic. The swaths of color completely inspire the rest of the vignette. Pulling the black, the gold, and even the smaller swaths of blue out of the painting, pairing it with a black and mirror Jansen desk, the blue Lucien Roland chair, the small sculpture by Ray Geary, all complement this piece perfectly and just add a little element of fun. When you're decorating your own space, don't be intimidated by a big white wall. It's rather easy once you find that perfect piece that inspires you. Finding something that ties in, whether it be your favorite colorations or overall style, will completely influence the rest of your home and really make it a complete space.